I, I logged, I got into the game, I started recording, and I was, I was about to start playing and like talking to myself, and I never actually started recording. I never actually started recording. So welcome back, this is Yamajack. We got Mario 64 Remastered Suicidal. And one high ammo is what you get today. My bad. It'll probably happen, you know, last time I did this, I said I'm gonna make sure it does. I probably also then said that I'll, it'll probably happen again. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna really just make sure I record before I do any kind of cams. Cause I, you, you, I don't know if you guys like it more when I'm incoherent. I just feel really bad, so I wanna like, it's like a compounding problem, right? Like, I feel bad on a night when I really wanted to not feel bad, right? Like, that's that's part of the reason, right? So, like, you know, I'm already kind of in a badder mood. And then, it kind of, like, I feel bad because I'm high and I'm recording. Which makes me feel bad. You know, like, like, I don't know, bad is such a bad word now. Um, but like, I, I feel apologetic. Uh, I feel... Like I've made a mistake. Kind of thing. And then that makes me feel bad. As in like, uh, you know, sad, mad, um, other negative emotions that I might be feeling. I don't really know other negative emotions. Angry, but that's not really... You know, in the same vein of... I guess it kind of is in the same vein as mad. Did I say mad? Anyway. So it, it does that, right? And then I'm like... Feeling bad. And then because I feel bad, I want to like not record as much. Which means I end the episodes early. And then... I have to... Oh wait, I have to hold up. I just remembered that I want to ask about backwards rhyme. So I'm just going to type it in chat so I remember for when it comes up. Because otherwise I'm not going to remember. It came into my mind. I have a bad memory even when I'm sober. Okay. When when the... I, mean, I have an excellent memory, just not for short term. Um, anyway, it makes me feel bad. Which makes me not want to record. So then the episodes are shorter and that makes me feel even bad too. And then I end up just doing it out of like... Um, like, I don't know, pity or obligation or something like that. I still enjoy it, but it's just, well, I don't enjoy it, actually. That's the point, right? But I only don't enjoy it because, like, all of the problems that pop up. So I was, if I was just okay with, re like, recording when I'm, if I was okay with this level of content, then I'd, I'd even be okay with making it. But everything kind of stems from there, and I just feel bad, and I kind of want to cry. And it kind of ruins the whole, you know, I wanted to have a, a fun, nice, relaxing, chill night, you know? Kind of ruins that whole thing. So it's bad. That does not seem like a real word to me anymore. It, it feels fake. Is that fingers in the back? No, they were uh, mushrooms. They're mushroom things. I keep trying to sell it because I keep thinking that I'm still in the first wave. Just... I think it was happening in the last episode. It's definitely happening in this episode. I just... I just... Still thought I was on the first wave. That's all. Time gets messed up for me when I'm high. That's the most notable. What are you guys doing? I haven't been playing chess lately. I was into chess for a brief moment in my uh, history of, I don't know, 20 episodes ago maybe. I was into chess. I'm not into chess anymore. I don't know why. It's like I've mastered the game and I just don't care anymore. I definitely do. I, I still, I don't think I could do like 400 ELO or whatever. It's funny because I watch uh, Northern Lion. And uh, he's, he's, you know, 1400 or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's just incomparable to me. 
and he's like, um, yeah, you know, just, uh, I forget how he said it, and I'm definitely not going to be able to do it justice, but if I, if I try and say it succinctly, but, um, he made some kind of, like, indicator towards that, uh, his level of chess you know, some some he was like referencing somebody else's elo or something like that, and he was like, "Yeah, it's only like 1400. Like we're not really." Or, or he was making some kind of like, you know, yeah, if you're just like, you know, 1200 or something like that, then I'm like, wait, that's that's the that's the low number for you. I'm just not even in the. I'm not even in the, like. Picture? Just cut me off entirely? This cat's back in the game. I mean, I'm definitely not worthy of a mention. Well, no. Break time's over. Get back I could work. be. Inbound. Good. Here's the thing. I probably have a better chance at beating the world champion, you know, at chess. Whoever, whoever the, like, best chess player in the world is. I'd probably have a better chance of beating him than Northern Lion. Okay, and and here's why. Okay, because when you're good at a chess game, there are there are good strategies and then there are bad strategies, right? And at a certain point, nobody learns the bad strategies because they're bad. Why would you do that? You're just like if if anybody else knows that you're doing this, you you will definitely not win, right? Like you just you can't get to victory or through anybody that's aware that this is a path to victory right like if you ever when you're playing games or something like that like you get a one-shot kill or whatever on your friends once and they're like haha very funny you're not doing that again you know and it just never happens again um, but nobody learns that so they don't know how to defend against it so when you know chess, like NL does, you're going to use chess strategies that you've learned, and techniques that you've practiced, and chess champion is going to be aware of those because they are probably the ones that wrote the book that taught NL how to do what he does. Probably not. That's like pretty old stuff now, really. But I, mean, I think, how many new chess techniques are they coming up with now? Um, I'd, I'd assume they're reasonably old. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe they did write the book. I don't know. Anyway, the moral of the story is they're both going to know the techniques and stuff, but I don't. So they're going to be responding to me to do something and be like, well, yeah, you do this, this, or this. I'll, uh, I'd, I'd expect you to do this, and they'd make a move, and then I'd be like, I have no idea what I'm doing. How do you know what I'm doing? And then i make a move, and they didn't expect it, and then all of a sudden... They're trying to like defend against like, oh, you're going for this path. And then it's like, nah, nah, I just didn't. I saw a blueberry over there and I went that way. I saw a raspberry over there and I went that way. There was no path here. So anyway, that's why I think that I'd have a better chance at winning against a professional chess player than NL would. Even though I'm definitely a worse chess player. I would, I would not consider myself a, a, a better chess player. I would uh, I would consider myself to be a uh, a bad chess player. But because of that badness, I'd be able to fool somebody who was expecting goodness. You know, you kind of get the advantage. It actually happens from time to time if you watch. I mean, anything, you'll find pros at, at any game who are just not able to handle people that have no clue what they're doing. Because if you got it so built in your head, you're handling these people who are really good at the place, and you're really, they're really good, and they know what they're doing, and they understand the techniques, and they know how to do this, and they know how to do that. So you're responding, you're preemptively trying to defend against things. But if, if uh, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, then they might respond with a thing being like, hey, I'm threatening you're this thing, so you can't take me. Because then I'll just take you, and I'm like, I'm just going to take you, though. And then you'll take me, 
And I'd be like, oh, I didn't even see that. And he was like, well, I just lost my damn queen. This wasn't a really good thing. I was really expecting it to kind of go the other way around here. But uh, I guess we'll continue, like, trading right now. And then I'm like, I didn't really want to trade. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember, like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I will not be high in the next episode. It'll be more normal. Look at the last episode. Not the last episode. The one before last to the next episode. They'll be better. Bye.